Narrative writing for kids. What is a narrative? So, a narrative is a story that tells us about things that happen. It's like when you tell a story to your friends about something fun or exciting that happened to you. In a narrative, there are usually characters, which are the people or animals in the story, and they do things like have adventures or solve problems. And there's usually a beginning, middle, and end to the story, where we learn what happens to the characters. For example, you might read a book about a little mouse who goes on an adventure to find some cheese. That's a narrative because it's a story that tells us about what the mouse does and what happens to her. Elements of a story When someone writes a story, they use certain elements to make the story interesting and engaging. These elements are character development, plot, and setting. All of these elements work together to create a great story. The characters are the people in the story, the plot is what happens to them, and the setting is where it all takes place. When someone writes a story using all of these elements, they can create a really interesting and exciting narrative that will keep the reader engaged from beginning to end. As the spaceship descended through the atmosphere, the hum of its engines grew louder, signaling its imminent landing. Character development Character development is the way a character changes and grows throughout a story. Just like how people learn new things and change as they grow up, characters can change too. For example, imagine a story about a grumpy old bear who doesn't like to share his honey with anyone. But then, one day, he meets a friendly bumblebee who teaches him the joy of sharing. Once upon a time, there was a grumpy bear who was known for not sharing his honey with anyone. He would growl and snarl at anyone who dared to come close to his beehive. One day, a bumblebee accidentally flew into the bear's nose, causing the bear to sneeze uncontrollably. The bee, now angry and determined, taught the bear the importance and joy of sharing. Over time, the bear realized that the sweetness of sharing his honey was far greater than the sweetness of keeping it all to himself. And so, the once grumpy bear became known as the most generous bear in the forest, sharing his honey with everyone who came his way. Through this experience, the bear learns to be kinder and more generous, and he becomes a happier bear. That's an example of character development. The bear started out grumpy and selfish, but through his experiences, he changed and grew into a kinder, more generous bear. Plots A plot is like a roadmap for a story. It's the plan that the author makes for what happens in the story. A plot usually has three parts, the beginning, the middle, and the end. In the beginning, the author introduces the characters and the setting, which is where the story takes place. In the middle, the author creates a problem or conflict for the characters to face. This could be something like a dragon that needs to be defeated or a mystery that needs to be solved. And in the end, the author resolves the problem or conflict and brings the story to a conclusion. This is where we find out what happens to the characters and how their lives change because of what they experienced. For example, imagine a story about a young girl who dreams of becoming an astronaut. In the beginning, we meet the girl and learn about her dream. In the middle, she faces challenges like learning how to build a rocket and convincing others to believe in her dream. And in the end, she successfully launches into space and achieves her goal. That's an example of a plot in a story. It's like a map that helps the author create a fun and exciting adventure for the characters to go on. Settings The setting is like the background of a story. It's where the story takes place, and it includes things like the time and place, the weather, and the surroundings. The setting is important because it helps the reader imagine where the characters are and what it's like to be there. It can also affect the mood of the story. A dark and spooky setting might make the story feel scary, 
while a bright and sunny setting might make the story feel happy and cheerful. For example, imagine a story about a young boy who goes on a magical adventure in a far-off land. The setting of the story might be a magical kingdom with castles, dragons, and wizards. The author would describe the details of the setting, like the colors of the castle walls or the sound of the dragon's roar, to help the reader imagine what it would be like to be there. The sound was deafening, like thunder crashing down from the sky. It was a primal sound, full of power and fury. Timothy could feel the roar vibrating in his chest, making his heart race with fear and excitement. Or, imagine a story about a group of friends who go on a camping trip. The setting of the story might be a forest with tall trees, a campfire, and a starry sky. The author would describe the details of the setting, like the smell of the campfire or the sound of crickets chirping, to help the reader imagine what it would be like to be there. The crickets in the woods were having a party, chirping and singing all night long. A group of friends <laughs> gathered around a cozy campfire, roasting marshmallows and listening to the sweet music of the crickets. Every now and then, an owl would join in with a hoot, adding to the fun atmosphere. The air was filled with the delicious smell of roasting marshmallows and the earthy fragrance of the woods, making the children feel warm and happy. So, the narrative is like a wild and crazy ride that takes us on a journey with wacky characters and unexpected twists and turns. It's got a beginning, a middle, and an epic end that'll leave you on the edge of your seat, and a plot like a good prank, it should sneak up on you and catch you off guard. And let's not forget about the setting, the magical place where all the action happens, full of sights, smells and sounds that'll make you feel like you're right there with the characters. So, let your imagination run wild like a bunch of monkeys on a banana farm, and keep those crazy stories coming. Before you go, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. If you found this video helpful, we invite you to check out our website, www.evelynwinters.co.uk, where you can access a wealth of valuable resources for both educators and parents alike. Thank you for watching. Sir.